On Cosmology, a lecture by Jonathan Barlow Gee. In this video, I will be showing diagrams, mostly of my own design, to depict otherwise unseen forces, such as gravity and entropy. I will also show some videos, mostly taken by astronauts in microgravity, showing some experiments with water bubbles. The reason for my comparing these will, I hope, soon be clear. In the beginning, we are told, there was a Big Bang, and this is how the universe formed. However, what preceded the Big Bang remains a mystery of cosmology to modern physicists. Their method for measuring our universe consists of a sphere implying a closed geometric model of our laws of physics. In the center of this sphere is the singularity, from which, following the Big Bang, the known universe has since expanded. Modern astrophysicists studying this cosmological model reckon the radius of this sphere as around 11 to 15 billion light years, and consider this the age of the entire universe. So much for infinity. In the nearly a century since this light cone model was originally proposed by Albert Einstein and Edwin Hubble, in the early 20th century, the essence of the model has changed little. Modern astrophysicist Stephen Hawking and mathematician Roger Penrose have added little more than modifications to it. However, what is the mysterious cosmic force that can account for universal expansion outward from the original Big Bang? Is there zero resistance in the realm beyond the limit of space? Or is there a dark gravity force pulling us outward? Since about the lifetime of Isaac Newton, the second law of thermodynamics has been rendered as entropy, wherein entropy is understood as the loss of energy from solid stasis over time. This occurs most obviously in the form of thermal units moving from a heat source to a cold zone. It is also responsible for the emission of tachyons in the gas jets at the poles of black holes, in this demonstration with a water bubble in microgravity, we can see how a disturbance to the outside can generate a perpetual wave back and forth through the water bubble. We can measure this motion as change over time. However, with entropy, or the trend toward chaos in an open system, comes the force of conservation of angular momentum, or the trend toward order in a closed system. Thus, along the tensile border between the surface of our expanding universe and the less resistant field beyond this, we find a variety of possible interactions all occurring at once. Firstly, wormholes can form within or outside the sphere. Secondly, black holes can form that penetrate back in time to the core Big Bang, or that bubble off and form new baby universes. Thirdly, both these types of phenomenon can occur simultaneously in the form of intergalactic alignments. As we see in this diagram, when two separate and distant spiral galaxies align at right angles to one another, the conditions are such that a wormhole can form connecting the black holes at the centers of both these spiral galaxies. This sort of intergalactic wormhole is very rare. However, it is based on essentially identical principles to the force of gravity that keeps our stars in orbit around the black hole at our own galaxy's core. From the point of view of a star system in a galaxy during such an alignment, the waves of gravity holding the stars in place in the galactic disk become visible. Here we see that these wavelengths emanate between the poles of the black hole at galactic central core and the poles of the stars and planets of any star system in that galaxy. An intergalactic alignment makes this effect visible to the naked eye, but it is occurring all the time, merely invisibly, anyway. This effect occurs due to the precessional rotation of the poles of planets, stars, and black holes. In a perfectly spiral galaxy, the magnetic poles of the stars and black hole will line up exactly as many times as the number of the spiral arms 
the star system is from the core per each rotation of that arm. For example, in the fourth arm of a spiral galaxy, we would expect to see the poles align in apogee twice and in perigee twice for a total of four alignments. The result of the combined forces of entropy and the conservation of angular momentum is such that the space between galaxies expands while the spaces interior to galaxies contract, being pulled toward their core black holes. The universal continuum thus becomes an irregular woven fabric with the possibility of encountering ripples and folds in space and time. In this temporarily distorted view, we see the cosmology of our universe from beyond its border, where the filaments, walls, and voids of the local universe surround the Milky Way containing our star, planet, and moon, while beyond the local universe, baby universes bubble up from black holes puncturing through the surface of space-time. To return briefly to this premise as modeled by a water bubble in microgravity, we may experiment using an Alka-Seltzer tablet that dissolves in water. As the antacid stabilizes, the bubbles of air it gives off inside the water bubble gradually accumulate into fewer and fewer, larger and larger air pockets in the water bubble, until finally the last two pop and merge into one. Once this occurs, as we see in this regular gravity experiment with a smoke bubble, the bubble pops and the contents of the air inside it are dispersed as evaporation into the ether beyond.